standing around looking at me. Hey, happy Memorial Day, America. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's the naked cowboy. It's more American than that. In my opinion, the, the naked cowboy, being a lifelong New Yorker, is a, he's a staple in Times Square, not only in Times Square, but all over the city. Um, and to me, he is a true American hero. So I really wanted to hear more and see more about you know, what he does on a daily basis. So I spent the day on the chase with Rob, the Naked Cowboy. So, after an hour of traffic from Queens, it's like 10 a.m. and we're rolling up to Times Square to the parking garage that he's been parking at for 12 years. Uh, 16. 16. Who's counting? Something like that. Almost my whole life. I'm about that age. <laughs> what kind of cars do you drive? He drives a white Escalade, very American. Hey, business is good for the Naked Cowboy. How does it work when people try to like steal your name? I'm sure people have tried to my be the Naked Cowboy. Well, my manager's Jewish and we sue their pants on. Ah, sue their pants on. Ah. It was intense. I mean, people know who he is on the streets on the way in. You're from Chile. Yeah, I'm from Chile. And you're living the American dream here. Uh -huh. Does he represent the American dream to you? What do you think? I think so. I think so too. I mean, you could be half naked and hang out in Times Square and outside all the way. Right? Only him. We then headed out with his wife, the cowgirl, and his sister in law into Times Square. And I gotta tell you, from that moment on, he didn't stop. Neither did his wife or his sister in law until 7 p.m. I'm going to TMZ. Right behind us. So we, uh, sorry, TMZ, late to party. Naked painted ladies? Cowgirls. Oh, we're hugging. This is good. Hey guys, I'm new. I'm new. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I love it. You look beautiful. Oh, see? That's cordial because this is America. Painted naked ladies? Naked cowgirls. Only in this great country we call home. The man is on his feet all day long, and he is an attraction. Not only is he an attraction, but he's an inspiration. I'm exhausted. How do you do it? Uh, the job makes you strong. It's the hardest job in the world. I say it all the time. Seriously. In the world. I got my own guitar, people. I can barely play it, but uh, it's really tiring. This yeah, guy I'm, really is a true I have American a franchise. Guy. Now, while I was with him, there was an encounter between him and a topless woman walking around, but they were very respectful of each other. Everybody's out there kind of hitting the pavement, doing what they're doing. I know what you're gonna say, Bill. He makes so much money. Does he donate any of it? Yes, he does. He gives back. And I these are the charities. I oh, definitely wasn't gonna okay. say it. Well, this is another reason why. I was ready for you to fire back. That's, that's all right, that's he, all right. There's another reason why he's an American hero. He donates a significant amount of money to the MS Society, the American Lung Association, um, Yes, 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 which raises awareness to safe sex, the Boomer Esiason Foundation, Autism Speaks, Tina Fey's Night of Too Many Stars, benefiting children with autism, not to mention countless other charities. He's a true American hero. On this of all Memorial Days, let's not overuse the word American hero. He didn't okay. die for Michael. his country. Okay. Thank okay. you, Michael. Family He's not actually a hero. Thank you for the perspective, Michael. <laughs> no, no, I'm going to sing while you guys play. How about that?